1 Timothy 6 6-21 Riches can corrupt our salvation. 6 But godliness with contentment is great gain. 7 For we have brought nothing into this world, and it is manifest that we can take nothing from it. 8 But having sustenance, and with which we cover ourselves, let us be content with it. 9 But those who want to be rich fall into temptation, and into a snare, and into many mad and harmful lusts, which submerge men into perdition and ruin. 10 For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And in that covetousness some strayed from the faith, and pierced themselves with many pains. 11 But you, O man of God, flee from these things, and follow righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meanness. 12 Fight the good militia of faith, take possession of eternal life, to which also you were called, having made a good confession before many witnesses. 13 I command thee before God which giveth life to all things, and Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate bare record of good confession. 14 That thou keep this commandment without spot and reproof until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. 15 Which in due time shall shew the blessed, and only mighty Lord, King of kings, and Lord of lords. 16 He that hath only immortality, and dwelleth in the unsearchable light, whom no man hath seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. 17. Command the rich of this world not to be haughty, nor to put hope in the uncertainty of riches, but in God, who gives us abundantly all things to enjoy them. 18. Let them do good, be rich in good works, share in goodness, and be communicable. 19. That they should lay up for themselves a good foundation for the future, that they may possess eternal life. 20. O Timothy, keep the trust that was entrusted to you, having horror of the vain and profane cries and oppositions of the falsely called science. 21 Which some professing have turned away from the faith. Grace be with you. Amen. First Epistle of Paul to the Timothy, Chapter 6, Verse 1 to 6. Dear brothers and sisters, we are studying the first letter of Paul to Timothy, still in Chapter 6, and Paul continues to guide Timothy in all matters pertaining to salvation. Paul says that this knowledge of salvation is a gain to us, because we do not come into this world to be rich, but to be saved, because we have brought nothing into this world. And nothing we take from this world. If we have our own sustenance and what we wear, and the comfort of our home, is already important, we do not have to accumulate many riches, which will only bring us many problems. In verse 9, he says that those who want to be rich, fall into temptation, fall into the snare of the devil fall into harmful follies, that lead man to perdition and ruin. In verse 10 he says, that the love of money is the root of all evil, that many turn away from faith because of money. And they bring for many diseases and many aches. In verse 11, he says but the man of God, fear of these things, and follows justice, competence, faith, love, patience, and mansion. Praise justice, faith, take ownership of eternal life, for you have been called for this and accepted themselves of many witnesses, for only Jesus Christ has the immortality of the soul. In verse 17 he speaks to the rich of this world, that they be not arrogant, nor arrogant, that they place their trust in riches. But put your trust in God. And let them use wealth to do good, to do good works, and to divide what they have, to those who have none. By doing so you will accumulate riches in heaven, so that they may attain eternal life. Amen. Glory to God.